Hi everybody, this is Eric at God's Healthy Living. Everybody has been asking us, make another video, make another video. And what do you do when you first get up? What do you eat? What's a good way to eat? So I said the first thing I do when I wake up is, of course, water. Water is so important, you gotta hydrate the body. Putting a couple of little bit of lemons in there, you see that? just to give it a little bit of flavor. You don't have to squeeze it completely. Squeeze one and then put two or three in there just to give it a little flavor so it goes down easy. Um, I would say room temperature, but you can have it as refrigerated water. It's good. You just drink your water in the morning. Make sure you get hydrated. Let the fluids clean you out because as you sleep at night, your body goes through a fast actually because you're not eating anything your bowel movements actually slow down. So when you wake up, everything gets awoken and it starts to move. So you wanna flush that out. And you notice after you drink a lot of that water, you have to go to the bathroom quick. Now check this out, my wife is so amazing. And you know I'm chilling, look at me, I'm wearing my pajamas. Check it out, check it out, oh, oh, pajamas chilling. Right, so it's, it's getting cold and you see the sun is out, it's a beautiful morning but it's getting cold, that time of the year is here. So my wife is an amazing artist. Look at this, Look, get up close to this. You see this beautiful uh, crocheting that she does? She made me this beautiful scarf. You see that, whoa, look how cool that is. And look at this hat. You, you can't find a hat like this in the stores. Check this hat out, custom made buttons, custom made colors look at that crochet style look at that come on y'all you know you like this hat if you want to get hats like this we got it on sale for on our, on our itsy account so look down below we'll put it maybe on the screen if i learn how to do that somebody might help me please tell me how to put that on the screen but anyway in the in the comment section in the info section i'll put the uh our website our uh it's called the itsy website it's called out of nazareth isn't that cool that's from the bible when they ask can anything good come out of nazareth and they said come and see oh you gotta come check it out so at least go look at it you don't gotta buy it we would love for you to buy it but look come check out all the different hats the different scarves, the different little baby booties, the little shoes for, for newborns and the hats, the sets. We got so much things. Check out that website. We love you. So check this out. So today we're going to be making a juice, okay? Now some people who have been full to the belly for Thanksgiving, they're asking, hey, how can I start juicing and eating healthier so that I can lose some of those pounds? <laughs> that I got on Thanksgiving and and it's all right it's all right to enjoy your your family the holidays and spend time and you know eat and fellowship but yeah you're right you do get a little pounds on the belly and on the hips right so the best thing to do is start juicing just add these juices add salads to your diet and it will start to give you a better health you'll be adding the nutrients the enzymes all of these chemicals that you need, that your body needs to help itself, to remove fat, to, to level out the sugars in your body. And uh, let me show you the things that I'm gonna be using. Here's a, here's a good thing here. This is, this is organic chard. You see, look at all that beautiful rainbow colored chard. You see these colors? All these colors here mean something. All of these colors are vitamins. They're signals to our brain to tell us to eat these beautiful vegetables. These are enticing colors. Here we have the collard greens. Oh, these collard greens are so full of vitamins and energy and nutrients and even protein. That's right, these greens have protein. So then I add some, some uh, carrots, organic carrots, and some pears. You can add pears, and these are apples. I cut them first, so they're a little brown, but, and here, look at this, the king kale, organic 
kale greens. Look at this, and people don't know this. Look at this, 10% of this is calcium, 260% vitamin A, 170% vitamin C. That's right. You People, people say, man, I, 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 I want to drink all of this, but check this out right here. Look at this. Boom, proof. Three grams of protein. Now that's per serving size. So this is about two and a half cups. This is a big handful of this has three, three grams of protein. That's great. People ask, where do you get your protein when you're juicing? You get it from the greens. The greens. The greens. The greens. That's right. Now, if you can't get organic, that's fine. Just make sure you wash your greens when you get them if they're conventional and that's fine I think that's fine okay so I'm gonna start juicing and I'll get back to you right now in a second alright so let's get started on the juicing whoa 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 wait a minute did something just happen yes I changed the hat look at that yeah you know you want that hat look at that style you put this hat with a hoodie a black hoodie, a gray hoodie, a white hoodie, you're doing it right. Check this hat out. You ain't gonna get this hat nowhere else. This is handmade by my wife. You gotta at least check out the website. You gotta check out the Etsy website. This is incredible. Look at that hat. Handmade, fully crocheted by Master Marquez Nalini, the master crocheter. So check this out. Now we're going to do these juices. And check it out. Let's go. So I like to start with something juicy. See that? Put a piece of pear in there. Boom. Just to get it juicy. Piece of carrot. And I was cool. You see how it's flowing? Just those two little pieces. They're fusing together. And it's making this wonderful juice. Now check this out. This is what I like to do with my juice. I pile up some on top, right? And what I do is I, I let them fall in, but I push in the green. And then with the green, I push in a little piece of carrot, a little piece of this, so that the greens get juicy. Isn't that cool? So you just let that fall in. Put in some greens. You see that? Oh, you see how the greens start to make that juice? Because you put in the other stuff with it. Here comes the juice. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Green juice. The healthy vitamins. Now you add in your chart. You know I can't sing, but I love y'all for it bearing with my voice but see you put those greens in you add in a couple of apples now here's the thing if you feel like you're fighting diabetes then I would say to use uh, vegetables and fruits that are not very sweet if you feel like you need to cut out the sugars so I would suggest a zucchini because the zucchini doesn't have much flavor so you can mask the juice of the zucchini with the carrots with um, with the kale and then you can add cucumbers okay you can add cucumbers so that's wonderful don't forget that so these juices you can fight and prevent and I'm not a doctor so I'm not giving you medical advice but you can kill this diabetes you can destroy that's how I did mine I, I stopped and I just had vegetables and, and salads and greens and all these wonderful things I cut out the powdered white sugar Cut it out. Get it out of my life. The salt. Get it out of here. And I just had fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds. I, I, I recommend that. It is a really good healthy diet to have a raw food diet. But if you can't go 100% raw, try to go at least 50-50, 60-40, 70-30, right? Just, as you begin, you get better. And these fruits and vegetables begin to taste better to you. All right, peace. I'm going to finish up and I'm going to show you the juice. All right, so we back. Look at this juice. Boom. Look at that green juice. This is life in a cup. 
vitamins, nutrients, health right here to get your health back, to get all the things you're missing. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I put on the hoodie. Check out the hoodie with the hat. See, you could be styling, styling and profiling for the winter, drinking your juice, getting healthy. What? Oh, yeah. A little bit of sweetness. The kale, the collards, the, the chard is in there. The carrots, you can taste the carrots. The carrots are very strong. It's delicious. And it is, it is a step in your life you can make to get healthier. And let me show you this new painting. You haven't seen the new painting yet. Check out this new painting. Now, this new painting I did, I'm going to show you the other ones that won honorable mention in the museum. Go. Check this out. This one right here won honorable mention at the Orlando Museum of Art. I won a prize and an award. Let me show you the, uh, the banner that was for it. See? Right here. The first Thursday's event, they had the art, uh, the museum had an art show, and I was uh, honored to be in it. Honorable mention, that's right, they put this right under my piece, and you'll see that in the uh, museum video. See that? Look how cool that is. Get a close up of that. Isn't that beautiful? This painting is for sale on our Etsy account down below, so check it out. Look at those beautiful flowers. What? We did a good job for that museum. And you guys seen this one in the other video. This one is also for sale. So you can get these for someone you love for the holidays. Look at this one. See that? Look at these beautiful flowers with the drips. Isn't that cool? Super fancy, super artistic and abstract. Loving it. Now, now these are all called different names, but I haven't named this one yet. Are you ready? No, you're not ready. You ready? Look at that. Look how beautiful. Look at this beautiful field of beautiful poppy flowers. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? See that? Look at all the detail. Wow. Check that out. See that? I haven't even signed it yet. See, the other one's a sign. Look at the cool signature. Whoa, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. So let me know if you like these paintings. And uh, if you want to get them, you've, you're more than welcome to have them. They need a, a wonderful home. And every time I move a painting, I have to create another one. So you could buy this for your mother, your aunt, your sister, your wife, your cousin, your neighbor. And this one will be for sale soon. Now, Nalini, what are the names that we chose for this one? That one's called Corinthians. This one is called Corinthians, giving honor to God's word. This one is called Genesis. Genesis. You see that? And then this one, the bright yellow one, this one is called Ephesians. Isn't that cool? So I thank you everybody for watching. God bless you. And let me know what you think of these paintings. Peace.